guys, so you're probably wondering why you are sharing at my random bookshelf of Star Wars things. Um, I figured I would change up my videos a little bit and show you what's inside my shelf. And this will be, uh, while I have more shelves, if, if, if y'all like this video, I can definitely make more. But I thought that I would kind of show where I like keep some of the other things that I often just glaze through on collection videos that nobody ever really gets to see and I don't make videos on them. So um, this is also partly for me because I'll be moving and changing the way I display. Hopefully I can get stuff better displayed than I have here or stored rather. Um, but I just thought it would be fun to go through it. I don't go through these shelves super often so it'll be fun for me uh, as well and we'll just take everything out and kind of glance over and I'll explain why I keep some things and what what I have so I just thought it'd be kind of fun to do uh, people don't often show like their bookshelves or their kind of like Star Wars paper horn which is kind of what this is in a way uh, but I definitely have more shelves that I could show we could go through even even other actual display shelves that would be fun that I never really touch on because I don't do videos on them so anyways, uh, the lighting is not the best, but I'll put it in front of the camera. So you should be able to see okay, hopefully. So fingers crossed. Uh, let's get started. I was just going to start grabbing in the top corner. I tend to do that. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> this is my only like little child, child coloring thing right now, but I got it for my birthday. And then this is a cool art set, which I don't open a lot of these things, but I like to have them. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird, but it's cool. I just like the way it's so nice and neat, neatly kept. And then, oh, I need to file this away. This is my my note from Bill when he sent me my Darth Revan, um, or Jedi Knight Revan. So I'll put that aside actually because I, I keep all of my papers that I get when people do like send me stuff or do trades or whatever. And there's like a note. I always keep my notes. I love them. But um, yeah, I found these pre-owned. But they were brand new and never used, so I love them because they're so retro-y now. <laughs> I just thought that they were fun. Here's my coin book. This is where I keep my 30th anniversary coin album, uh, which I have pretty filled out. And then, and then of course, there's the extra panel. Old War stick book that I think I've done. I remember seeing this in stores. Golly, seven dollars. It's really thin, but I remember seeing these in stores for the longest time. But I filled them out. <laughs> and this is just a little print that I had on display. This was from a culture fly box that I got. Here's that transforming Darth Maul that I've talked about before. This is the only one I have, and I think I can still transform him. And I think that the Darth Maul's inside. Yeah, there he is. I haven't seen this guy in years. I have not taken him out. That's hilarious. There he is, my little... I bought this at the store, and I was so in love with this Darth Maul ship. I loved Darth Maul when I was younger. But it's still... I remember having to figure out how to transform him the very first time. And after that, it's like riding a bike. I haven't transformed him in forever, but I still remember how. And now it's the Sith Interceptor. Pretty cool. I really like these guys. I wish I had gotten more. I kind of always have regretted that. I got this card from my sister with this cute Ewok. I posted on my Instagram. It was actually for Thanksgiving, but Erica bought it for me because it was so cute. Here are some little erasery things in a lightsaber storage thing. I don't even... I haven't opened this in a long time, but they're just like these little cutout erasers. And I'm missing part of the lightsaber, but it it's fine. I have it. This is it. <laughs> and then here are my two little candy tins that I don't have open, but I think they are adorable to display. So that's basically all the non-figure stuff. Here's a little, I don't know, little pamphlets, little doodads. This one was, wow, this was a whole toy catalog from Kenner. That's cool. Sorry, I'm not holding it high enough. That's super cool. I wonder, where's the Star Wars? Yeah, there's the Star Wars. Rock on. I No wonder I kept this. I kept that for a reason, but they're kind of bendy, so they just sit up there. This is not the best place, the best organized area, so apologies. But I have all of my LEGO visual dictionaries. My very newest one with the Darth Maul is actually in another shelf, which I can show if anybody's interested in that shelf. 
It's got more books and goodies in it, but I really like the cover of that one. This is the newest visual dictionary. I like the cover again. It's just, they're not as expansive as they used to be, which is a real shame. Sorry, I'm so stopped up. This is my favorite, the Ultimate Star Wars Lego book, and I hope they make an updated version because this one's out of date now, as are all Lego books as soon as they come out. Yoda Chronicles, just bought it for the, the minifigure, but I still keep them. I, I don't I don't know why. This is back when I didn't have an Emperor Palpatine. Now I've got like 87 of them. And then here were the smaller character encyclopedias, which was my favorite size of a book. But it makes quite the hefty stack. And then this one's my favorite out of all of them, the way it looks in terms of character encyclopedias. But again, out of date. So we had a lot of stuff fall over. Um, but I've got just a couple other random books, five minute Star Wars stories. I think I got this at a Black Friday for like five dollars, but it's really cool. I hope to read it to my kids that I don't have one day, uh, whenever I have kids. Be a cool book. Lego Star Wars book that's again out of date because we don't have updated characters, but I think it's still cool. I don't think I filled this one out yet. This one's still got all of its stickers. Oh no, I have put some in. Yep, <laughs> I filled it out some. Oh, Nicole. I picked up this coloring book purely because I liked the cover of it. It was just really nice looking. I haven't colored in it though, that I know for sure. Here's a, hot, a lenticular Darth Vader journal. Have I written in it? I am always curious to see if I've written in these. I usually don't if I like the covers. Yeah, I haven't written in that one. This one's really old. This is a Clone Wars one. And I thought it was so cool. I loved how dark it looked. So, oh, I have. I was doing some collection calculations in this journal. <laughs> That's funny. Here is, this is, I believe, like a playbill. It's a like a program for the original Star Wars, which is really cool. This is my letter that I wrote to the president when I was in fifth grade when George Bush was in office. Golly, I don't know why that's in here. Um, ooh, careful, I hit my shelf. Uh, this is actually just a storage that I use for some stickers that I didn't want to get bent right here. That's a calendar, I'm not sure why I have that. But then here are some birthday cards. This one's always been my favorite. <laughs> Super cool. Got a little princess card. I don't know if I'm holding it high enough. There we go. And then this was another fun little Valentine's Day card. But I just keep them in there. That way they don't get bent. Um, and actually, while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and move my Ewok card into this. Just so I can have it for safekeeping there. Make sure it closes good. There we are. I got these folders at a Star Wars... Uh, it was like a Star Wars Comic Con, but in, in Plano, Texas. It was the coolest thing ever, and it came with a whole bunch of stuff. Funnest little thing ever, and I, of course, didn't... I had YouTube, but I didn't record it at all. But here's where I keep all of my Comic Con event things. Um, yeah, that's... There's a lot of just different man stuff from, like, cons and, and conventions that I've gone to. I just keep them in here because I, I really like looking back at things. And so that, I don't know, that's just something that's been part of me. Uh, oh my gosh. I made these before I had my YouTube channel back in 2005 when I first got into Star Wars or 2006 at this point. Back when I was Nicole Robinson. Um, and I used my family's printer ink all up with these and I made them Hasbro had it on their website that you could play and make these comic books out of their action figures and I made all of these and they're not that bad to be honest and I ha cannot believe I've kept them all of these years actually I forget I have these every single time I have doubt of you Arr, and then Padme so yeah and then this is another one here oh my gosh it's super full of these are like holiday ads. Let me adjust the camera. These are like holiday ads back here. This uh, auto sticker, um, some a movie bill. I don't know why that's in there to be honest. And then this was, I bought this back in the last one of the last, the 2017 Star Wars celebration. That's the card that had everything. I guess so I could remember what I got. Over here is all of my notes that I've ever gotten from people. And so some of these go back from to like 2012. 
Uh, but yeah, they're all in this little section here. I've got some folded up posters. Uh, I'm gonna add Bill's note, because his is my most recent one. There we go. Um, so yeah, they're all in there. That's so, ah, it's fun to look at, I don't know. Uh, trading card pages for my trading cards in my binder. This is gonna be so fun to put back. All of these are actually just holiday catalogs. Again, this is where you probably, people don't know because I never really talk about it, but I just am nostalgic in certain ways. And I really like to look back and see what was the popular toy back then. I wish I had toy catalogs from like 2005 and stuff, but I think the earliest I started getting these, or at least cutting out the Star Wars pages, was like 2008. Um, I need, I started cutting out the pages because it was easy, so I just cut out the pages of the toys that I liked, so Star Wars. Uh, but these are catalogs that have I've left intact. I don't know, does anybody else do this? I feel really weird now for, for showing this, but... Uh, this is an old calendar that I got for Christmas one year, and it was just cute. I don't, I don't know. I didn't throw it away. Oh, I'm a pack rat. Uh, moving up, there's some stuff up here. Um, oh, I bought some Valentine's this year or last year that I liked. They were lenticular. They were the Saga series. So I got them. And this is the kind of thing that I don't really show where I get kind of disjointed with the way I collect things sometimes. But here's a Harry Chewbacca journal that I got from the Disney store that used to roar. Doesn't anymore. The batteries have long run out, I guess. But it's really cool. I've never used it, but I like the way it looks. It's Harry. I won this in a contest. This is an R2 Me Too, and it's a sideshow exhibition catalog. So it's just a bunch of different R2D2 astromech droid art. It's really cool. This is, oh, this was an early bird package thing that I got from Hasbro's Public Relations back when they liked me when they used to send me stuff. This was for the retro collection, the first wave. I got the like, um, the free product for it. Um, and I, I reviewed all of them, but this was the little thing. I kept it because it's like, that's really cool. It's like a PR thing. Um, this was the envelope to the Ewok card. I kept it because I feel like I want to do something with this cute printing. So that's why I had that. I'm not just a hoarder for that reason. This is a folded up poster that I used to display. And then a couple other toy shop catalogs that I need to put with the other ones. See, look, I'm organizing while I do this. Um, these things in here are my Star Wars Insider magazines. Um, all of those actually and I really don't want to pull them out because I've got so many of them But if anybody wants to see all of the issues I have I can certainly do a video I don't really think it's something that I want to do today though But I will pull these out so we can take a look at them or lithographs This was a Best Buy one See Best Buy for Revenge of the Sith. I got this for my friend Chris because I wasn't oh I have it hung That's why there's nothing in it. I haven't hung on my wall. I can't remember which ones I had hung uh, but I did keep the, keep the panel. This was the Phantom Menace 20th anniversary that came from the Disney store. Disney store. And then it says the Phantom Menace. And I have that one hung as well. But I keep them in case I ever decide I don't want to hang them so I can put them back in their little envelopes. This was the Triple Force Friday from last year, I think. Also from the Disney store. I like when they do those. This was a Disney store Rogue One lithograph set which I do have still. I don't have any of these hung. I don't have any space in this room, but I would be so thrilled if I could find space in my next collection room. But there are some really cool prints. I think there's like three or four in here. Um, and then you get them on Scarif. It looks really nice. Very cool. I think on the back, oh, it doesn't even say the Disney store on the back, but I did get it there. And so I think that's it for this shelf. Um, so I got some stuff there, all spread out. This is just extra stuff that I need to put away. But yep, if anybody wants to see a video on those insiders, I'd be more than happy to do it. But I didn't want to include in this video because it'll get like way too long. But that's basically the majority of what's in this shelf. So I'm just curious, is anybody like at all like me? I feel really weird now exposing this part of myself to YouTube. Uh, my, my, the way I, what I decide to keep in terms of like paper products. So anyways, uh, thanks guys for watching. Let me know if you like this video. I have more shelves I can go through that are cool that have stuff like this in it if y'all think this is neat. So just let me know. And um, as always, thank you so much for watching this video, for sticking around for it. And until next time, guys, I will see you later. Bye.